Hi, in this video, I will show you how you can create tile sets in Pixel App. A good way of creating the starting point for a high top down tile set is to use the Create M to Excel image tool. Here, I'm generating grass surrounding dirt. So, the reason why I'm doing it this way is that if you're using the Create Map tool, it isn't like always amazing at creating the first image. So what I do is I use another model to create a good starting point. And then I will be using create map to expand and create all the parts you expect in a tile set. So here you can use shift S to more easily use the list selection tool and grabbing and grab blocks and move them around. Then I will use uh, create map to in paint in between. With create map, it automatically in paints alpha zero, so you don't need to in paint by hand in between the uh, in, like in the cross, because it does it for you. And you can see that in the UI. All right, we have our first part of the tile set. Now we need to create the inverse. So I will be doing that in steps to make it as easy as possible for the model. I will fast forward a bit so you don't need to watch me do this. All right, so now we have a good init image and let's change the text prompt to grass between dirt instead. And we will now in paint the parts we want the model to edit. And that will be like in between. And I'm gonna use uh, use selection tool to select paint, painting area. So that way we can only edit this part of the image. And we're also using the current image as target palette. That's not really necessary, but it can be good so there's no random colors. And then let's use init image to tell the model there should there should be grass in between the uh, yeah the dirt. All right. <clears throat> so now we are a third of the way uh, to the inverse of the uh, top left image. So now the plan is to uh, create like the lower part of the image or like the tile set. So now I'm going to copy paste over things and this is to make it as easy as possible for the model to do the correct thing. Then we can in paint the parts that the model should edit, which in this case would be the corners. And to help the model out a bit more, we will update the image a bit by in like making a better init image, which we will take like the colors and just yeah, draw a slight a bit like what it should look like. It doesn't need to be like perfect or anything, but it will help the model out a lot by kind of knowing what colors should be where, and then the model will do the rest for us. The init image strength that you want, uh, it depends a bit on like how good your init image is, uh, but you can try 200 first. 300, 400, maybe even 500, and just see if you want it to look more like your init image or less. But now it's time to uh, do the opposite side, so the top side. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna copy paste what looks good, place it in the right position. Then we're gonna in paint and then create like the init image and then just click generate, just like before. So I will uh, speed up till we click generate. But it's also good to know like you can also you can edit other places as well if you like. So here I kind of want to edit the uh, green part as well, the like transition. So I'm just gonna draw a bit there. But it's good to know like the more the model is allowed to see, the more likely it will perf perform better and be able to copy the style of the image. So that's something to take into consideration. And yeah, nice. 
And if you don't like the result, you can always, you know, try again, edit in its image, editing the guidance strength and stuff like that. But now I'm just gonna copy paste over so we get the uh, inverse and I will speed up and you can see what, how you can do that. Now comes the hardest part when you want to create like a transition between like corners. So what we will do is we will create a init image that is as good as possible. And then we will fix it up with uh, in painting. Uh, but this is a lot of manual work and not as much like just the model doing everything for us. You can try using the model more, but in this case we got pretty good um, parts, so we can just use what we already have and uh, yeah, I will speed up and you can see what it could look like. But as you can see it's basically just me copy pasting things that I like and just pasting it over and then if there are any issues you can use uh, in painting and in it image to like fix it and then we can just repeat this until we are happy with the result. and if you're not super happy you can always just change some settings or how you in painting things to give the model more or less information uh, so here in this case, I kind of didn't like how it did the uh, crossover part or what I should call it. So now I'm just inpinning less of that so the model can see more like it's, it's supposed to be like a, a nice slope instead of just like a hard uh, edge. So yeah, that's how you create tile sets in uh, Pixelland. For the last part, I'm just gonna reposition everything and then invert this one so how I do this I'm using selection and just putting a minus in front of the value and there we go yeah I hope you find this useful and you're able to create uh, tile sets now all right now I'll show you how you can create tile sets but for side scrollers instead so we will start off by creating like a platform, which is very commonly seen in video games. So the blue is for like a sky, the green is for grass, and the brown is for yeah dirt or rock or something like that. Then we go into the create map tool. We will in paint, use init image, and then as a description, it will be important to take grass on top of uh, dirt, platform, with a blue sky in the background. Which kind of tells the model uh, what, it's, yeah, what's, what it's meant to be, you know. And here I'm just going to remove the, uh, some of the inpainting on the, on the sides, just so the model can see that there's a, like a blue sky, so it has... A, some understanding that it's a flying platform so yeah there we go a nice uh, start but there are some pieces missing so first off we want to create the uh, like in between pieces so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shift s then move up the top of the platform and then we will just uh, in paint in between and then uh, click generate. And we don't need a init image here because the model will be able to see what's above and below and be able to guess what should be in between. Now there are some other pieces that are commonly uh, seen in tile sets, which is like there's an empty space in the rock. So that's what we will do now. And I want to make sure the model understands there's a sky in the background. And then we will in-paint the, uh, the corners. Yeah, make, make sure you're in the right layer and it's visible, otherwise you can't uh, draw in it. And then we just in-paint. 
each corner it's not you don't have to be like super careful of how you're inpinning it's good that the model can see um, the blue sky behind it uh, so it understands that it should be corners and then we will use uh, use selection tool and you can see in the UI uh, what will what the model will see and what's inpainted and boom there we have it All right, let's create the uh, other parts of uh, tile set, uh, which is like where the uh, the dirt or rocks are like like pillars on either sides, and then we will just in paint the transition, and then the model will fix it for us. Because the model has uh, so much it can see of like. The style and how everything looks we we should probably change the description but it's fine because there's just so much information that it will be able to understand uh, what we are looking for uh, automatically all right it's time to uh, do the last thing that is sometimes seen in tile sets and that is like slanted ground so we will go from a bottom level to a top level so first we want to create like a good uh, init image or like uh, something for the model to work from. And remember to in paint in between. And then draw like a sketch uh, for the model to uh, use uh, so it understands what should be where. It doesn't need to be perfect, but the better you make it, the easier time the model will have. And then let's change the uh, description to um, Grass Hill instead. You could also ask for like slanted or something like that. Then just select the area and use init image. Init image strength could be like 300, 350, 400, 450. It depends a bit on like what you're doing so it's good to like ex experiment and see what works best and here I need to change uh, to uh, custom size because my image is in 64 by 64 but 80 by 64 and then yeah once you're happy click generate and uh, you will get something and if you don't like it here I will increase the init image strength because I want it to f uh, be more like perfectly slanted and you see it's it's better but here I'm thinking ah, I could use this as my init image so I'm just gonna use this uh, the generated image as my init image and like iter iteratively improve the uh, quality and yeah this is how you can create a tile set for side scrollers i hope you uh, found this useful and helpful and i will see you in the next video